Hey guys, just the guy here with another episode of Sky Factory 4. I've been at it with my trees. As you can see, I got some lapis saplings I did off camera just because it's more of the same and I really needed to get this project going. But I'll show you how to make it real quick. First of all, you just need a dark oak sapling, which if you go back to your friendly cauldron, yeah, recipe nut, there we go. There's a coal sapling put in water, so I mean that's pretty simple. And then from there, you just use some water right here, a bone resin, a clay resin, and some water. Just make a glass bottle and put it in the bucket or whatever, or the water. And you get your lapis sapling. You don't really need one right now. Whatever. I'll hold on to it. Um, and then from there, you can get lapis from acorns. The lapis and um, redstone work weird in that you go to acorns, a nine acorn grid makes a block, but um, the normal thing, you can make amber, but then you'd have to melt it down in a melter and cool it down. So, I mean, that's the thing. The other funny thing is, is redstone's a little weird in that a thing of redstone makes a redstone block, but there is no recipe for the resin you'll notice. The resin is you make a nine by a three by three to make an amber. So that's like separated for some reason. But the reason why we want it is we want the item collector. Um, it's just a lapis block, some droppers and some, a lot of iron. And it basically collects up to, I think a 16 book by 16 area. Um, it just picks up items automatically without having to have hoppers everywhere it's basically a automated thing and this is the molten iron I guess I went through them all uh, I just put the iron amber in there and melted I had a chest feeding it in through the top and then it pours into a casting basin and cools down and it makes an iron block and this lets you also get iron ingots which is how a lot of the early things can work because I can't have a casting mold for an ingot so this is the only way I can get iron or ingots for both redstone and uh, uh, iron. But as you can see, it takes quite a while to cool down. And I don't have space. And I didn't build this to have a hopper underneath to automatically pull the items out. But if we go to this. Get rid of the glass bottles. We'll make some redstone blocks. That's good enough. I also make a lapis block. There we go. We got some iron. I got like three in here. So first we'll make the item collector. Uh, we do need hoppers. We need at least three of them. Oops. Oh, I need uh way more than this I want to make one I want to get one here we go we'll make two and have two left hopefully that's good enough so we got one two so that's three and we need some droppers so we need redstone I wish I knew what button it was that cleared the table We probably need at least that. And I forgot to push shift. Okay. We have an item collector. Surprise, it's not an advancement. This is another one of the Silkic mods, or Cyclic. And it's really awesome. But we also want a fan which blows enemies forward. Uh, it's really simple, surprisingly. And it doesn't require the mob pack thing. Blows them up to 16. I thought I said that there, but I guess not. But we need a redstone repeater. We need torches. Let's get, let's, let's go eight. Repeater. Let's make all four because I'm probably gonna need something to build this. 
So let's just go two fans for now. It's not going to be all I need, but I probably need at least three for a three by three area. So yeah. Need more iron. We're in trouble. Oh, there's so much iron. Cannot believe how long I was harvesting all that. I swear I needed a block of iron for something, though, so I didn't want to use it all. Okay, so we have enough for at least a 3x3 three three push. And then we need the way to kill them, which is punji sticks. Oops. Not mean to get rid of that completely. But we got quite a few of these. Let's just replant that one. And these are all the same as uh Sevtech. I don't know if twelve's enough, but we'll see. So we got a way to kill them, we got a way to push them, we got a way to collect it. So now we just gotta go to the hunting dimension and build it. All right, I just went back and got some chests and blocks and stuff to build with. And then I got enough cables to hopefully get this set up. I only had enough uh, clay stairs, actually, to make one set. So I only have nine. And nothing here like always. So that's fine. We didn't actually want anything here right now. So how is this going to work is interesting. We basically want, you don't need this to be raised anymore. You don't even need to see in here at all actually. But we want this one little area, we'll leave that there. And we'll block this all off. But we're going to come up one two three blocks I guess and come out and let me build this real quick and I'll be right back with you guys all right guys I sort of got it up sort of limited by uh, how many punji sticks and I have I got this little redstone line let me turn that off actually so I could turn it on and off if I have to do maintenance on it or when I want to expand it I don't get blown away by the fans but it's just a uh, 15 block, should be. Actually, I think I need to go out. Well, I'll just leave it now. It's a 15 block distance from the very edge to here. I forgot to count the fans. That way it gives it one block to push over. And then there's just a 12 by 12 thing of, or 12 total punji sticks of damage down there. I would like to do the walls or even further, but I had to block off half of the thing just because I didn't have enough punji sticks. Sort of a lighting glitch over there, but it should be fine. Now we just need to put the fans in. Now, they do only blow one block, but I only need to worry about the feet. I don't need to worry about the heads and all that too much. I think they face toward you when you put it down. Right? Yeah. They just look like little fans, which is kind of awesome. Now, let's get out of here before they come on. Let's get rid of this. Let me tell you, working over the void like this is dangerous and scary. So these are your options. Um, you can enable or disable sound. Requires redstone or always on. I don't know how much you can hear that. I have a lot of my sounds turned way down, but it's super loud. So you just do that. And it's silent, but it's still working. Now you can do the speed of how fast they move. I usually go all the way up. And then the distance. So it can go up to 32. I don't know if there's any problems with it. But I'm just going to do 16. It's more than enough. And it requires redstone. And I guess you can do between push and pull. Um, I'm not quite sure what the point of pull would be. I guess you could have it on the opposite side, pulling things in maybe. I don't know. Disable sound. I can't remember which is. Okay, so yeah. Grayed out is... I was on the same one. Okay, that's why. 16 and 10. 10. No sound. So now we just need to run this little redstone line right behind it, I think. 
I'll just do that for symmet symmetry sake. Get rid of that. So nothing spawns there. Get rid of that. And we close this up. Hmm. Quite a bit of light in there. I think it comes from over here. I'm going to have to get rid of these torches. At least that one. So this should work, I hope. I should have left the sound on one of them to see. No. It's got to be the block underneath it. I think. It's got to feed in. So I put our torch back up so we don't fall and kill ourselves. Hmm. That's what we want. Lag. While we're building. Not sure how to work this. Okay, they transfer to each other. Not that one, though. Okay, so it does the adjacent block, but it doesn't go beyond that. Okay, that's nice to know. So, we put that there. No. So what we gotta do is just sort of loop it around, I think. It's just gotta face in directly. It can't be just adjacent to it. I could probably use repeaters if I had them, but I don't have them. Well, I mean I have them, but I don't have any more on me. Yep, and that cuts off. So all I need to do is the middle one. Okay, that works. I'm sure a lot of you guys are laughing at me right now. There we go, all three are running. Turn that off. Get rid of this. Nothing spawns. Get out of here without killing ourselves. So now everything should blow in there. We can probably put this back here again. Hopefully. Now we just need some item collection. Now, this probably won't be permanent. So I don't... I didn't even bring a hopper, but let's just put this down. Um, I think it's so nine by nine. Let's just make it as big as possible. Well, thirteen by thirteen is probably fine. Show rendered. So it tells me how. Okay, it faces the way of the circle. Okay, so the opposite of the way you put it down. Let's put it right here, I guess. So rendered. That's kind of good, but we'll make it bigger. 13. So it goes up two and down two and over as many as I pick. So that should be fine. Covers the entire box. And there's a pretty big inventory. I don't have, I got chests, but I forgot to get a hopper or anything. But we will, I don't think this exports automatically, but we'll see. Let's put some pipes. We can actually get item extraction pipes now. I don't think this exports automatically. We'll just put a chest right here for tester's sake. Oh, that's let's get rid of that one for now. And let's just uh, I'll go over here for a little bit and see how it works. Well, guys, I'm back and it's working. It's kind of slow still. It's like one or two enemies spawn every great once in a while. But I got some gunpowder, I got some bones, I got some arrows, some rotten flesh. Um, other things do drop, I guess, but yeah, it's still super slow. Like, one enemy spawns every once in a great while. I don't know if this mod pack turned down spawns so that you can't have a super awesome mob farm. But I'll probably add another couple 
wings of those fans, you know, one going that way and that way. I would like to drop this down further because, you know, I'm at Y100, but that's just not happening. But yeah, guys, so we got our item collector. It does not auto put automatically. I'm going to have to get an item extractor pipe. Um, but yeah, this this works. It pushes things down. The punchy sticks kill them, and I do get the loot drops. And this picks it up without having, having a million hoppers or anything like that. But yeah, guys, this is uh, just a guy in the dark. Signing off. Catch you guys later. Bye.